it's our third video and we can start with a front plane sketch like I said today we are gonna build the main profile for the spokes so yeah that's it and let's start with four straight lines now be careful here first line is gonna go from somewhere around here and it's gonna be narrow like this the second one is gonna be vertical third one is horizontal and fourth is vertical now let's bring in some dimensions make sure that this uh, left line this yeah this line is from the left side of the origin so we have between 5.75 the length of this line is 40.25 distance between this point and origin is going to be 67.25 between this line and origin we have 30 let's see what's left the dimension for this one is 18 we have also the angle between this line and this line it's gonna be 11 now we're gonna leave this line like this just for a moment without dimension so now we're going to add tangent arc so go to tangent arc and go from this point till somewhere around here actually let's delete this one sorry let's make three point arc going from this point straight up something like this and then we have uh, from this line till this point 32.5 this radius here is gonna have is gonna be uh, 700 now from origin this point is gonna be 108 sorry it's gonna be 90 and let's drag this point down till somewhere somewhere around here and let's show the sketch number one so that we have this center line here and we're gonna use the center line to add dimension till this point it's going to be 7.5 now let's also add fillet it's gonna be uh, radius of this fillet is gonna be 27.5 on this point okay. now here we need one straight line this let's add dimension so from center line till this point vertically we have 15 and from this point till the origin horizontally we have 108.25 what's left to be done is three arcs so let's start from here I'm gonna use tangent arc and let's go from this line something like this then another one it's also gonna be slightly small little bit small like this and third one goes till this point here now the radius of this first one is gonna be 10.25 and from this line till this point we're gonna have 4.5 from this point till the origin vertically we have 75.5 
ends from this point till this line. Here we have 20. Let's just check why the sketch is not fully defined. Let's make sure that these are tangents. And same here. So yeah, when you add tangency between this arc and this line, the sketch is gonna become fully defined, ju defined just as it has to be. So, let's hide the first sketch. Of course, we're gonna exit the sketch and use the axis we have to make a revolve. Now, make sure when you are making this revolve that merge result is deselected, so we don't want to merge all these solid bodies into one. We want to have this new revolve as a separated body. So, click OK. And save the work and also we are going to need to to copy this body to have two of them so go to move uh, type here move copy bodies we're gonna select this one and just cop uh, make sure that copy is selected and click I think one and okay and click okay now we are going to hide this second body and we have only this first one that is revolve. Make sure here in solid bodies that you have one, two, three. For the end of this video we have to do just something simple so let's go to the front plane. Uh, I'm gonna use wireframe view here and let's Let's actually use the sketch from Revolve 3, show it and co uh, convert this line. Hide the sketch and let's offset this line to the right side by 7.5. Now make sure that this one is gonna be for construction and drag these points down to somewhere around here. We need dimension between origin and this point, it's gonna be 10. And that's the sketch done, exit the sketch and let's use axis to make a surface revolve this time. So revolved surface and I think everything is fine, just click OK. Now let's hide this first body we have. So yeah, we'll make sure that all bodies are hi hi hidden except the revolved one. And we are going to use this uh, surface revolve surface body we created to cut out the piece of this revolve. So go to surfaces, cut with surface, select this surface and direction should be this one. And in feature scope, deselect auto select and select this body we have. Of course click OK. Now let's hide this surface and this is what's left. We also have this body here, let's hide it again because we don't need it and we have our first body. So yeah, that's the end of this third video. In in next one we're gonna start creating spokes. So this solid body we created now, now is gonna serve us as a beginning of creating those spokes and also the second, second body we created is gonna serve us for the same thing. You will see You'll see everything, and if you, for a, for, a, for example, haven't understood something here, why, why am I doing some things here in this video like I did with these revolved bodies and and cutting with surface, you will understand everything in next or in next few videos. 
So that was everything for this one and see ya in my next one.